Boker Tov, good morning. It's so wonderful to be with you all this morning and to celebrate the new year and also to think about what we have done over the course of the year that has not been so good and the things that we've done that have been wonderful that we think about, we want to do less of the bad things and more of the good things. But first we're going to begin our service by celebrating how wonderful it is for all of us to come together, even from a distance. Our services often have a lot of words and prayers and more words for us to say in English and in Hebrew, maybe other languages. And sometimes that's great and sometimes we just need to offer the prayer of our heart and not words that were written by our ancestors a long time ago. So I have a story for you about offering the prayers of our hearts. There was a young person named Jesse who lived alone in a house that had a field, a giant field in front and around. And every evening and every morning, Jesse would go out into the field and offer their prayer to God. Their prayer was song and movement. And I'll sing you the song, but you're going to have to come up with the movement that works for you because each person's prayer is very different. The song went like this. I ga doom ba di doom ba di die. I ga ding ye ding ye ding ye ding ye die. I ga doom ba di doom.
Jesse would sing this prayer and move their body over and over until everything that was inside them had been said to God, had been expressed to God through the music and through the movement. One day, a traveling rabbi came past Jesse's house and asked for a place to stay for the night. Jesse was, of course, happy to let the rabbi stay at their house overnight. And the next morning, they woke up and went outside to pray. The rabbi had their prayer book and their talit, their prayer shawl, and started to recite the words from the prayer book. And Jesse started to sing. I ga dum ba di dum ba di da. I ga di 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 da. I ga dum ba di dum ba di da. I ga di 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 da. Um, Jesse, the rabbi said, "What are you doing?" Jesse said, I'm praying. What, what else would I be doing? This is the time we go out to pray. And the rabbi said, yeah, but we pray with these words in this prayer book here. And do you know, do you know these prayers? And Jesse said, well, at one point I started to learn how to read the letters and how to read the Hebrew, but I don't actually know the prayers, so I go out every morning and every evening to this field and I sing that song and I move my body and I think God knows what I'm trying to say. And the rabbi said, sure, I'm sure God knows what you're trying to say, but wouldn't it be better if I taught you the the real prayers, the right prayers? Well, Jesse didn't really know how to respond to that except to say, well, sure, teach me the, the right words and the right prayers and I'll say them. So every morning and every evening, Jesse and the rabbi sat together and studied together and Eventually, after a number of months, Jesse was finally able to read the whole prayer book and to offer the prayers with perfection, with the rabbi's help. And the rabbi said, Jesse, you've done such a good job. I think my time here is done with you and I'm going to go on to the rest of my work, to, uh, to the rest of my travels. So the rabbi left. And Jesse continued to stay at home and offer their prayers. So every morning and every evening, Jesse would go out with the prayer book and recite the prayers. Only it got hard to remember exactly how all of them went, especially without the rabbi standing right next to them. You know, sometimes you forget and it doesn't feel quite right. And so as Jesse forgot prayers or stumbled a little bit, they decided to shorten things and eventually actually just stopped going out into the field in the morning and in the evening to pray. Now God was not happy with this at all because Jesse's prayers had been some of the most beautiful prayers with the music and the movement. God didn't want Jesse to stop praying. God wanted to hear those prayers. God wanted to see those prayers. God wanted to feel those prayers. Not wait for empty words that wouldn't even come. During this time, 
the rabbi had traveled to a number of other cities and was about to stand up to give a lecture in front of a congregation full of people, the rabbi got up and started to speak. Uh, the rabbi didn't know what was going on and tried again. The people looked at the rabbi and also had no clue what was going on because that was not any sort of language that anybody knew. The rabbi just had to get off the bima and stop trying to speak because clearly nothing was going to come out that made sense to anybody. And certainly the rabbi didn't know why they couldn't speak properly, why they couldn't communicate their ideas and their words. So later that evening, the rabbi went out to pray to God. God, what is going on? Why am I not able to speak clear words? Why can't I share the teachings that I've learned from your Torah, from you? And God said, Dear Rabbi, you may know how to recite lots and lots of prayers. You may know how to speak lots of lots of teachings, but you took away the prayer that I loved the most. You took away the prayers of Jesse, who would sing and dance in praise and in hurt and in love. If you want to get your voice back, if you want to be able to speak clearly again, you need to go back to Jesse and apologize. But most important, you need to go back to Jesse and learn to pray. So the rabbi went back to Jesse spent another number of months not teaching them how to recite prayers, read Hebrew, but going out into the field every morning and every evening to sing and to dance. I ga doom ba di doom ba di die I go diggy 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 die. I go doom body doom body die. I go diggy diggy die. I go diggy die. I go diggy die. I go diggy 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 die. I go diggy die. I go diggy die. I go diggy 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 die. I go doom body doom body die. I go diggy 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 die. I go doom body doom body die. I go diggy diggy Even though in that story talked about how the most beautiful prayer is the one that comes from the heart, sometimes we need a little bit of help. Sometimes we don't always have even the music or the movement. So we're going to offer some prayers, starting with Barhu, which invites everyone to say, that they're ready to pray. So if you're ready to pray, then I'm going to invite you to stand up 
get some bouncy knees and start singing along with me. And the truth is, move your body however you want because that is also very much a part of the prayer. We ask God to open up our eyes and teach us how to live, to remind us of who we are supposed to be before we declare God as one. Rosh Hashanah is one of the times that we think about how we've been over the past year. Have we acted in good ways? Have we acted in bad ways? Have we done things to make people feel better or have we hurt them? Most of us have done some of both. And so we think about what we did right and how to do more of that and what we did wrong and how to do less of that. And we turn to the people that we've hurt our friends, our family, God, and we apologize. We say, I'm sorry, and we ask for forgiveness. This next song, Avinu Malkeinu, asks God to be like a kind and generous parent and ruler, like a king or a queen, who will give us forgiveness for the times that we've messed up. Please join with me. Yeah. 
try that in English. I'm sorry for what I did wrong. 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 I'll try to be caring, more loving and sharing. Forgive me for what I did wrong. I'll try, I'll try to be the best that I can be. I'll try. Take a moment to turn to your family members. Try to think of one thing that you can do better in the coming year and apologize for not doing your best in the past year. And together we say, I'm sorry for what I did wrong. Sammy loved to tell stories. Now, not fairy tale sorts of stories, but loved to tell stories about other people. Anytime Sammy heard a good story, they would tell everyone they knew what they'd heard about this other person. And sometimes Sammy would even just make up stories about other people and spread that around too. Because it was just fun to tell stories about other people. Now, other people did not particularly like this habit of Sammy's. They didn't like the stories that they were spreading, and they certainly didn't like that Sammy would sometimes make up stories and tell other people. So a few of the people got together and went to the local rabbi to see what could be done, maybe to help Sammy stop telling these stories. The rabbi listened and thought, and after a few days decided to call Sammy into their office. They talked for a little bit and the rabbi mentioned to Sammy how hurt people were that Sammy had been sp spreading stories about them. This was the first time Sammy had heard that the stories were hurting other people's feelings, that other people didn't like that stories were being spread about them, even if they were true. And so Sammy asked what to do. So the rabbi made a suggestion. Sammy, do you have any toothpaste at home? Well, of course I have toothpaste, Sammy said. We all need to brush our teeth. So the rabbi, so the rabbi said, here's what I want you to do. I want you to go home, take your tube of toothpaste and squeeze it out. Ready for this? Take your tube of toothpaste and squeeze it out. So Sammy went home and did this and came back with a handful of toothpaste. Rabbi, I squeezed all the toothpaste out. What do you want me to do with it? The rabbi said, okay, Sammy, now I want you to take the toothpaste and put it back in the tube. Sammy was confused. There's, there's no way for me to put it back in the tube. It just doesn't, it doesn't go back in. Once it's out, it's out. 
Sammy, that's the same thing with your words, the rabbi said. Once you've said them, there's no way to take them back, no way to put them back in your mouth where they belong. So it's up to you to watch what you say so that when you say it, what it is, you know that you are not going to want to put it back in your mouth later on. Sammy felt so badly and went and apologized to everybody for having spread all of these rumors, for having gossiped, for having told stories. And from then on, Sammy was much more careful not to let stories out of the tube. There's a story that we read on Yom Kippur, it's the story of Jonah. Jonah was a prophet, which means that he spoke to God and God spoke to him. And Jonah was asked by God to go to the town of Nineveh, where the people there were very wicked, doing very bad things, and to tell them that if they didn't repent, if they didn't apologize and change their ways, then God would wipe them out. Now, Jonah wasn't so interested in this responsibility, and he got on board a ship and tried to sail to a far off part of the world in order to run away from God, but God always finds us because God is everywhere. And so eventually Jonah um, comes back and goes to Nineveh and tells the people to repent. They do, and God saves them. Now, Jonah isn't super happy about this. He wanted these bad, bad people to all be wiped out. Um, but God reassured him that no matter how much bad we do, if we change our ways, if we do better, then we will be forgiven. Here's a story song about Jonah.
Then God taught him a then God taught him a lesson that each of us should follow by looking at ourselves and the deeds that we have done. Last time for the chorus. Jonah, Jonah, living in the whale, tried to run away from God that was out to fail. Jonah, Jonah, living in the whale, tried to run away from God that was bound to fail. We always include among our prayers a prayer for peace, for us, for all of Israel, and for the whole world. Once again, I invite you to close your eyes, take a few deep breaths, center yourself, ground yourself as we offer this prayer for peace. We're going to end our service with the words Lishana Tovati Katevu, may we be written for a good year in the book of life. Lishana Tovati Katevu, Lishana Tovati Katevu, Lishana Tovati Katevu. Lishana Tova, have a sweet and good year.